Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game. In this chess game we have Alexander Alekin with the white pieces and his opponent was Imer Konik uh, who was a very strong chess master who represented Yugoslavia and England later. And this chess game was played in 1922 in Vienna. So the fourth official world chess champion Alexander Alekin starts the game with d4, knight to f6 and we have the Indian game b6, knight to c3, bishop to b7, and then queen to c2, d5, capturing the pawn, knight takes on d5, developing the knight, pushing the pawn, and white has a very pleasant center, bishop to e7, bishop to b5 check, pushing the pawn and blocking, bishop goes back and black castled, pushing the pawn and this opens the bishop, and targeting on h7, so black is defending like this, h4 by Alexander Alekhin, so he came with all guns blazing, his idea is to lift the rook up, rook up and then rook to g3 and targeting the king. So this is what happened, lifting the rook, black is opening the bishop and he is targeting the center, but Alehin is not wasting any time with the center and he is attacking the king. So in this position he is planning to swing the rook over and targeting the king. Bishop takes pawn is possible. If pushing the pawn, bishop takes pawn is possible if capturing the bishop. Queen takes pawn and black is in big trouble. So king to h8 escaping. But Alexander Alekhin says there is no escape. He played bishop takes on h6. Boom. And we have f5. Not capturing the bishop. But if capturing the bishop, queen to c1, queen to dark square and how to defend. If defending with the king, then sending the king back and then capturing the pawn. And this is checkmate actually. So after bishop takes on h6, we have f5 and then e takes on f f6 on passan. Bishop takes on f6 and bishop to g5. If capturing the bishop, capturing back with check and black is not going to survive. So c takes on d4 and Alehim played another cool move. He played knight to e5, a very cool move. So if capturing the knight with the bishop, then capturing the queen, the bishop is pinned. And also you can see that Alexander Alehin is targeting on g6. So developing the knight but not wasting any time with playing knight to g6. Alehin played queen to e2. He is going after the throat. So g6, black is defending but let's take it back. What happens if capturing the knight, then checking the king, and we have this very simple checkmate pattern. Moving the king, bishop back, moving again, and then black is getting checkmated, and there is no defense. So, in the real chess game, after knight to c6, queen to e2, and black is defending the threat against queen to h5. And bishop takes on g6. And Alehin is renewing the threat, queen to h5, and then checkmating the king. So we have king to g7, and what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Queen to h5 is not a very good move because of rook over, and it feels a little bit annoying for white, so can you see the best move in this position for white? Maybe capturing the bishop, capturing the knight, or lining the rook. Well, in this position, Alexander Alehim played this another very cool move. Bishop to h6 check and we have king to g8, attacking with all guns blazing. Well, actually in this position, if capturing the bishop, of course black is getting checkmated, the bishop is untouchable. So bishop to h6 king back and then knight takes on c6. Now everything is falling apart one by one. Capturing the knight, capturing the pawn, only sensible move, capturing the rook and then capturing the bishop and this is too much for Konig, he resigned. A very strong chess master from Yugoslavia and then later England and I also showed one of his immortal chess games and in that chess game he looked like an invincible chess player, a very strong chess player, but against Alexander Alehin he looked terrible. So this shows how Alehin was such a dominant force uh, in that era, in this era. So this was from 1922. So I hope that you have enjoyed 
watching this chess game and I hope to see you next time with more interactive, beautiful chess games. Stay safe, take care and bye bye.